Nvidia have been cultivating a habit of massively overselling their products, only for reality to hit when they get into the hands of reviewers, and when they turn out to be less than God's gift and sometimes kind of crappy. Anyway, I saw a load of articles this week about how Nvidia says their EV1 encoder is the best thing ever and how OBS finally supports it and blah 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 blah. And the articles in question generally amount to a few screenshots of Fortnite with Nvidia green squares on them. Hey, I have a 4080 and an Intel Arc and a rudimentary understanding of video codecs. I could fact check them myself. To enable Nvidia's AV1 encoder, just open up OBS and select it from the drop down in Settings Output. The easiest thing to do would be to record myself getting kills in Halo on one card and then play the replay on the other, comparing AV1 directly in gameplay. I've set the recordings to 3.2 megabit per second because it's as low as Intel's recording will go and it fits within YouTube's lowest recommendation for 1080p streams. This resulted in me discovering that synchronizing Halo replays is next to impossible. Both were set to 1080p 60 but one always ended up faster than the other for some reason. To alleviate this, I'll focus on one kill specifically. This poor soul shot at my sister, so you know, he had to go. This is much more of a toss up than Nvidia's images would have you believe. The confetti destroys the details behind him in both, but Intel preserves quality in the rifle and my hand looks significantly better as I reload. I think this is a very, very slight victory for Intel, but only when I'm looking at it frame by frame in edit software on a big monitor. I also want to see how much this affects pre-recorded content, since dropping bit rates while keeping top quality is of great concern to people like me with Plex libraries and a limited hard drive budget. Because I'm such a stickler for image quality, my library is made up entirely of Blu-rays that I ripped myself. For this test, I re-ripped the video files off this copy of How to Train Your Dragon 3, the 1080p, not the 4K disc, and I'll re-encode them using both AV1 encoders and see if we can tell a difference. Blu-ray files are typically around 40 megabit per second and mostly use H.264, which is very old hat by now. Be nice, we're coming off on Blu-ray's 20th birthday. If I split the screen into three and move it around to avoid copyright robots, with Intel on the left, the Blu-ray in the middle and Nvidia on the right, you can see the difference. Look at Stormfly's wing here as it loses all detail and becomes a blurry mess in both of the AV1 streams, but stays clear in the Blu-ray. If I make a career out of fact checking Nvidia's marketing material, I'd be very happy. This is the third time I've done a video like this, and once again, Nvidia's claimed slam dunk turns out to be a whimper in practice. Why didn't I include an AMD GPU for a three-way AV1 fight? Well, have you seen the prices on the 7900 XT? I'm not spending $800 for a four-minute video. I'm running out of money as it is. <laughs> I'll see you next time.